Hi everyone, welcome to Arundel, in a wet Arundel. She's wet. Yeah. <laughs> We're all together. We're going to have a little a pub lunch later on. We're going to have a little walk around the uh, the town. That's right. But we're now going to do it in a pub. The Swan, because yeah. it's yeah. peeing down. Yeah, it's all ended up in a pub, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's all part of Kevin Ramble's group, but Kevin mind. can't join us today, unfortunately. Um, so uh, we're going to be doing it on his behalf and do a video of it as well. Sure. So uh, yeah. more gangs in. Amanda? Definitely. Roxy. Roxy! Um, um, yeah. Mr. Soggy. Riri. Roxy! And uh, of course, I'll be on camera duties. That's what I'm good for. So, uh, yeah, join us. <laughs> we will have a talk from Mark, a local historian. We're going to go over to the Swan Hotel because it's chucking with rain and we don't want to get wet before we have our lovely Christmas lunch. The session is organised. Mark, our historian, who is fourth generation Arundel guy and who's spent 40 years researching the area and is a local councillor for 11 years and what a brilliant guy he, he gave up his whole day to me oh, the other wonderful. week to recce yeah. it and he's going to give us a talk thank you so you're better off with the expert than me giving the talk you're so. an expert as well so we're going to go over to the hotel thank you very much sorry that we can't walk around the town but it's going to be amazing mark is a very knowledgeable guy so off you go i will stay here to catch any stragglers yep, we're going in the swan pub as opposed to walking around the town because the weather's so crap thank you very much ian for the we'll, we'll help with the umbrella <laughs> Close down the rabbit hole of research. You're going to hear about stuff that you can't get. From 1644, I believe. Okay. Now, some of you may be aware of what was going on in England in 1644. Biggest civil war. Yeah. As you can see, it's a really beautiful building. Not an image I'd ever seen until about eight years ago. I've seen images taken from the road, but not from this view. So for a few years now, for a mag local magazine called the Sussex Local. So this is one that I wrote about seven or eight years ago, which is about um, the building, which I'm going to show you some photos of in a moment. Okay, so in times, and it says, it says here, until about three years ago, we're talking about 10 years, because this was written about eight years ago, six or eight years ago. Until about eight years ago, Secrets was, Secrets was the name of the shop that occupied the premises in Arundel High Street just to the right of Lloyd's Bank. I mean, that shut down four years ago. Um, <laughs> um, secret shops now move the few doors up the high street, but there are certainly secrets galore being uncovered in the old building during its current renovation. Now, I knew the owner of the building who bought it, and he spent about three years refurbishing it. And he allowed me complete access to observe what work being done. It's the antique centre now. It's, uh, Yes, it's not, not the big one, the, the little one next to the, next to Kim's bookshop, basically. Well, that was a fascinating talk by Mark. Really interesting, that wasn't it? It was really, I mean, I really like to look deep into one location, not, not yes. to get a superficial view of a whole area, but just one location or one building. And he's done some remarkable work, you know, private exclamation, private investigation to uncover uh, a far older history of a house, a building, than you can never imagine yeah. when you look from the outside. That's really interesting. Uh, I totally agree. Yeah. Just yeah. take a little small plot, an old house, and just really delve into it, take a deep dive. I've seen it in my perspective yeah. yeah. anyway. Yeah. Uh, so now we're going to head over to um, Amberley, or Broughton really, the George and Dragon, the George and Dragon. Dragon for our Sunday lunch. Yeah. Oh dear. There's Andrew doing his YouTube channel. He's probably got less subscribers than me. Yes, I have. I've only got 21. 21, that's all right. Oh, better, than having, I better than having none. Hey! Yeah. I've just got another one here. Really just getting back to the car. See you at the pub. So here we are at the Georgian Dragon. Always a warm welcome, it says. And ready for a Sunday lunch. How's that sound? Let's go. Yeah. 
Sorry, that's all right. Just saying hello to everybody. We're in the Jordan Dragon with Kevin Tramble's group. Um, it'll be lovely and have a nice little meal in a minute. <laughs> what a lovely view of the South Downs. Isn't that gorgeous? I was here last year driving back from Bob and Reason, did a little video from this little village. Okay, let's go through. Our Pete's here. John Wolf Pete. Here we are. Joe, is that one? Right, start with that table and see what turkeys are on there. The two famous surnames. Very impressed with the chicken, uh, the turkey. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Um, I, I got those little olive things that are underneath, what yeah. they're called? Things. Yeah. Yeah, things. Yeah, um, beef was great. Mm. The gravy was amazing. Top class. Oh, absolutely yeah. fabulous. Great yeah, potatoes. I was up at six this morning. Yeah, mm. we'll all give you. Yeah. And that's what you chefs do. Yeah. Thank so you so much. You've got something you want to say? Oh, oh, good. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Christmas Day. Hold on. <laughs> I am actually, yeah. We might yeah. send yes, out. Um, and also, have to say, Top marks, hot plates, uh, hot plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam, right, over guys. to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> old and uh, friends of uh, old friends. <laughs> oh, blimey. Look who it is. You're all right, Rob. You're not covered in snow anymore. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Litch and Mike Dixon over here. <laughs> Matt Reader G. What, what, it's Mike that? Dixon and Bella. Yeah, Sandy Bella is tucked up in bed. You've been looking at ley lines. What's going on? Tell me what. What? Did you? Have you been using dowsing rods? The dragon's path. I can't hear. I can't hear you because you're northern. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> Julie, Julie, you're Julie, you're poking the dragon line at Long Meg. Oh, oh long the Long Meg. Okay, dragon okay. Line. Julie, you're posting some great photos, by the way. Some great photos. Mark approves. Oh, Kevin, they never Just say a few words to everybody. Um, obviously, he's very sad that he can't be with us today. Yeah. Um, but for reasons which I won't go into, I understand why he couldn't come. Thank you all for coming. Um, really appreciate. 30 people, well, I think it's 27 now, but a lot of people, really worse. It's a good day, good day. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Bonnie for yeah. the walk. It wasn't a walk, but <laughs> still very good. And to Martin, if you could thank Martin. Mark. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was Mark, Mark. was it? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, thanks everyone. For the... <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no pressure. For that, that sort of resume of Arundel history. Very, yeah. very interesting, very interesting. Thank you. Um, I also want to thank Cynthia yeah. for organising the meal. Um, done a very good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the pub as well, the George and Dragon, for yeah. wonderful yeah. food. Yeah. Um, and yeah, really good. Really, really good. Kevin's Rambles now has been going for a while, and one of the things I know Kevin is very, very pleased about is the social side. The friendships that have been made over the period of time, um, I think that's something that he really, really does feel very grateful about. Um, and long may it continue. And hopefully the group will build. Um, we may even have to hire the whole pub at some point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, um, we produced a cake for Kevin, and unfortunately he's not going to be able to blow out the candles or anything. But um, that was made by... Laura and my granddaughter, wow. who's uh, 12, 12 years old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So she made that, Cynthia sorted out the avatars, these wonderful um, Kevin's Rambles yeah. serviettes. Oh. Um, so what we're going to do is everybody to take a piece uh, wrapped in the serviette to take home um, and enjoy it with a cup of tea or a glass of red wine, Mark. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, really, I'll just keep it short and sweet. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank you for supporting Kevin in the past and hopefully support him well into the future. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do you want to say something? Yeah. I often watch back the video that Kevin and Mark did of our walk around Berwick. And Kevin was quite amazed that there were 18 people who turned up for that walk and for that lunch. And look at us now, 30 plus. Mm. You know, there are people who couldn't come like him, unfortunately, Robert, who had to cancel. Mm. You know, there are more and more people getting involved in, in Kevin's group because I would never have met any of you under other circumstances, but because we all share this love of the English countryside and walking and English heritage, we have that in common. And I think that is the bond that keeps us together. So hopefully Kevin's channel will grow and friendships will develop and we will enjoy each other's company. For me, twice a year, <laughs> maybe more. But um, for me, coming from abroad, I really value the connection with my culture, my heritage, and with friends who appreciate that. So thank you, Kevin. And I'm really sorry you're not here today. Well said. So there you go, a nice little meal here in Houghton in West Sussex, the Georgia Dragon. Hope you enjoyed the little video, very short video I know. Be like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you next time. Take care.